This team will not die. Just when you think this Florida Panthers team is finished, they simply refuse to go away. This game three was the series. If Florida lost this one, they're down three nothing and have to climb a near impossible mountain. If they won, however, we officially have ourselves a brand new series. This game was the definition of a grind for the Florida Panthers. Emotionally and physically, this team got tested to the brink. Things got started off on a high note as Montour got the Panthers on the board early. Vegas has been stifling Florida by packing everyone in the slot, so the activation of Montour here gives Florida an option in the middle, and a nifty play by Kachuk off the wall leads to a Florida goal. But the way that this Vegas team comes at you, it's just wave after wave, and if you keep giving them opportunities, they will eventually make you pay. The penalties that Florida was taking in this game were just mind-boggling. Like, like, what are you thinking in this moment? You, you know you got to be disciplined, and they just keep taking these dumb penalties. Of course, not learning from their past mistake in Game 2, they would take another offensive zone penalty and give up a 4-on-3 power play goal to Mark Stone. Stone, who's been a beast in this series, gives another textbook example of how to beat Bobrovsky. If you don't get in the eyes and get in front of him, you're simply just not going to beat Bobrovsky. Mark Stone does a terrific job, and sure enough, it ends up in the back of the net. Stone's screen forces Bobrovsky to not set his feet. He's trying to look over his shoulder to try and get a track on the puck. Bobrovsky reads it a second too late. And sure enough, it's a tie game. And hey, listen, I get that the officiating in these playoffs have been absolutely ridiculous. No one knows what the standard is, but Florida has just been horrible staying out of the box and it would cost them again in this game. Now, this was a brilliant play from Vegas's two best players in Eichel and Marchessault. On the power play before this one, we saw Eichel swing up and down on that half wall to try and outweigh pressure and then attack again with speed. On this power play, Eichel decides to maintain his drive to the goal line and lays a perfect saucer pass over to Marchessault for the finish. Bobrovsky's there, he has good reaction time, but again, he's screened a bit by his own player in Aaron Ekblad. Either way, it's a 2-1 game, and after this, it was mostly a textbook third period from the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas's 1-4 neutral zone formation made it difficult for Florida to cause anything off the rush. Really, it looked like Vegas was going to close out this game, but of course, when all hopes seem lost, the most clutch player in the NHL playoffs right now in Matthew Kachuk would tie the game up and continue this legacy run of being an absolute gamer in these situations. This goal was scored with the extra attacker, but Kachuk is just in the perfect spot and he just knows how to dominate that front area of the net. Shortly after that, Florida would get a look that they have been waiting for all series long. Because of how much Vegas likes to collapse in their own end, as we talked about, Florida wants to use a delay play at the line to catch Vegas over collapsing and get their players the puck with space. On this OT winner, Bennett gains the blue line and makes a stop up play to delay the attack. Now with defenders backing up and over collapsing, Bennett waits for his reinforcements to gain the line with speed. He finds Verhage entering the blue line and the rest is history. Just like that, the Panthers find a way. This is the type of game that could single-handedly change the entire series and the mentality of this Florida team. Just listen to Kachuk explain the type of win this was for the Panthers. I really don't know what to say, probably just the gutsiest win I've ever been a part of. So I'm very proud of, of the team and, and uh, you know, we're not done yet. These guys absolutely battled this game. Kachuk was banged up after he got rocked by Kolasar. Montour was banged up and returned to the game. And yet, Florida dealt with all the adversity and still came up with a massive win. Now, I think lost in this a bit is the play of Bobrovsky, who I thought by far had his best game of the series. He was tracking the puck relatively well, and he made some spectacular saves to keep Florida in this game. Now, this is when everything starts to get really interesting, because... Vegas has looked like the better team for almost the entire series, but now the momentum is ever so slightly in Florida's favor. If Bobrovsky stays this hot and Florida gets back to playing their game, this entire series could be flipped on its head. The pressure is all on Vegas not to blow this, and that's a position that Florida absolutely loves to be in. So, what did you think about Game 3, and what are your predictions for Game 4? Let me know in the comments down below, and before we end the video, I want to thank our sponsor, Hockey Training. If you're a hockey player who wants to improve your game, the Hockey Training app and YouTube channel is the best place to be. 
Armed with drills inspired by some of the greatest NHL players on the planet, it is the number one spot to take your game to the next level, both on and off the ice. If you're interested, I'll leave the links in the bio down below. And if you want to see more NHL playoff breakdowns, make sure you click that subscribe button.